iTunes is one of the most popular media programs in the world, used by millions of people every day. Now, you might know that iTunes can sync uh, pretty well all of your media, things like songs, movies, TV shows, even ebooks and contacts and calendars, between your computer and one or more of your iOS devices. But today, we're going to share some other iTunes syncing tricks that you may never have heard of before. First, if you download your media from a lot of different uh, applications, managing your library can be a big hassle. But ever since iTunes 9, you can use the automatically add to iTunes folder to simplify things. Just download new music and videos to this folder and iTunes automatically sorts them for you. Next, you don't really need four copies of that journey song in your library, do you? So why not get rid of three of them and all your other duplicates at the same time? Simply select File, Display Duplicates and start deleting. Next, we know that if you use multiple computers, keeping iTunes synced across all of them is not easy. But you can get around this by using Dropbox. This is a service that stores all your files online for free. To do this, copy your entire iTunes library over to the Dropbox folder. If you don't have a big enough Dropbox account, then you'll need to pay for more storage, which many people do anyway. Now, make sure that each version of iTunes opens up from that Dropbox folder by pressing and holding Shift and then opening iTunes. The program will ask you which library to open and you indicate the Dropbox folder. iTunes will sync your folders and you're done. The added benefit of this is that even if you lose media files on your computer, they'll still be backed up through Dropbox. And lastly, would you like to sync your iTunes music, playlists, podcasts and photos to your Android device? Well, now you can. There's a variety of applications out there that allow you to do this, like Double Twist, iTunes My Walkman, or Dashboard. Today, we're using Soling Media Sync. First, you'll install the software, make sure you turn on the USB storage mode, plug in your Android device, and sync away. That's it, you're an iTunes Pro now, so there's no excuses for having four duplicate journey songs in your library, unless, of course, you just can't bring yourself to delete a single copy of Don't Stop Believing. You know. Don't stop believing, hang on to that feeling.